So One UI 6 for the Samsung S21 FE is finally available for download. Finally. Now this update was supposed to come back in November, but we can complain. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the features of One UI 6. Now, as you know, One UI 6 is based on Android 14 and it's coming to uh, selected Samsung phones. So if you haven't received the update yet, uh, in this video, we will let you know some of the features that you can look up to when it finally rolls out to your phone. So let's get into it. Now, the whole download itself is 2.5 gig and the whole upgrade time will take less than half an hour. First thing you quickly notice is that the system font has changed in One UI 6. You have an option to change the font if you so like. Now the quick panel menu has also changed. Uh, the default is when you swipe down once from the top of the display, you see the notifications. And when you swipe down again, the quick panel menu is enlarged. You can also enable the feature to swipe down from the left to review the notifications and swipe down from the right to review the quick panel menu. Settings like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are now easily accessible. Even settings like eye comfort shield and dark mode can now be easily accessed on the quick panel menu. Notifications as well have a new refreshed design. The new notification cards allow users to have more detailed notifications plus they can also be sorted by time and the priority of the notification. The clocks on the lock screen can now be moved around. You can also change the styles and colors, more like what you can do on iOS. You certainly know where they borrowed that from. You can now also move icons around using two hands. This feature also applies to the native Samsung apps where you can move files using two hands. The Samsung emojis have now been redesigned as well. The weather widget and app have also seen an upgrade with the app showing more information about weather in your location. The camera has also received a bunch of upgrades. In photo and pro modes, users can now quickly access the resolution and aspect ratio controls. The watermark can now be easily aligned to your favorite position and the font can also be changed as well. Still on the camera, you can now easily scan documents directly in the photo app. You can also set up the camera widget app to launch directly into your favorite camera mode. You can change the name of the widget as well as assign an image to the widget. By simply clicking the widget, you can launch the camera and start shooting in your favorite mode. There are also a host of changes in the gallery app. By long pressing on an object in an image, you can save it or even save it as a sticker to use in your favorite social media apps. By swiping up on an image in the gallery app, you can have access to features like Photo Enhancer, which as the name suggests, can enhance the look of your photos, as well as Photo Eraser, which you can use to erase objects in your photos. One UI 6 comes with a studio app for editing videos so you can easily shoot and edit videos for TikTok and YouTube straight from the Samsung device. The studio app is packed with a host of features. It allows you to edit using multiple layers, just like other NLE editors on the market. The difference is that it is free for Samsung users. If you would like me to do a tutorial on the studio app, you can leave a comment down below. So those are some of the features you can expect in Samsung UI 6. Now there are a host of other features, including the ability to have different lock screens for different modes. There are also other changes to the battery menu, Samsung Health app. Even the text on the app menu is now simplified in a single line, including a host of other features in One UI 6. Now, if you've been using One UI 6, what are your favorite features? Let me know in the comment section down below. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next 
video. 